Hey everyone, Alex here. Today is Monday, August 9th, and it's 3.09 p.m. And I'm here in Forest Hill, which is my area, and that's located near Eglinton Avenue West, which is straight ahead. And I'm near, or I'm actually walking to Eglinton West Subway Station, which will soon change its name to Cedarville next year when the LRT line opens, the Eglinton line. And I'm actually on the borders of Old Toronto and uh, York. So this is Midtown Toronto, but if you proceed west, you'll be in the west end of the city of Toronto proper. And like I said, I'm currently walking to Eglinton West Station, which is on the Young University line. This is Calix from Windsor. I was there last week. So, uh, you used to have to walk on the street to get to the station, but now they move construction right where it is. So we have to take this walkway here. And today is gonna be kind of fun, but probably a long journey because I'm gonna do this long awaited journey where I ride the TTC across Toronto, but how? It will be on all four subway lines, but I also have to use two bus routes. And I've done this journey before. I did it three years ago and I've wanted to do it for a long time now. So I'll show you, well, I'm sure you guys might've seen the map is probably the route I'm going to take, but uh, I'll show you on the actual map itself. Let me get inside the station here and I'll show you where we're gonna go. Now, this has been a construction mess for so many years. Line five is expected to be completed next year. Yeah, right, hopefully. So actually on this side, we're in Old Toronto and then on the south side is York. And that's Young and Eglinton up ahead, those tall towers. It's a hot ass day here today in Canada's biggest city. It's 30 degrees. Man, I'm already sweating my ass off, you know? And right now it should be about rush hour. So probably when we're going to North York, it should be slightly busy, but not so bad on the way back. So this has been an area full of detours and stuff like that. But soon, or one day, all of this shit will be gone, so. So this is what you have to use to get on the TTC. Okay, there's a collector booth right here, so I am not going to film the map. But I'll just explain it anyways. We're going to go to Scarborough Town Center using Line 1. Then we have to get off at Shepherd West Station, take either the 84 or the 984 Express to Shepherd Young Station. And I'm just going to wait for the next train. I'll probably just take a few breaks and stuff because I am not ready. I'm just explaining what, like, like, where I'm gonna go. So, screw it, I'll get on the next train. But uh, this is the northbound platform. So, uh, look, did you, did you guys hear that? That's the old door chime on these now 10 year old trains. kidding me eight minutes ah oh, god anyway at least the station here should be air conditioned but it's open space up ahead all right so i am gonna have to pause and take a break so my plan is to so as i was saying we're gonna go to scarborough town center 
we're gonna board a northbound train to Shepherd West Station, and then we'll take the Shepherd West bus to Shepherd West Station. I mean Shepherd Young Station. That's when I'll transfer to Line Four, take it to Don Mill Station, and then I will take the 985 Express bus to Scarborough Center Station. And I'm gonna take an hour break because there's a food truck festival at STC. And I haven't been to the mall in two years, so this should be an interesting experience. And then we're gonna take the RT to Kennedy Station and then line two to St. George Station and then hop back on line one and we will end up right here. Please do your best to stay Now, I haven't been on the RT in two years and it's gonna go very soon. It's gonna be replaced by the line two subway extension, which will replace line three. It's 36 years old and it uh, should have been out of service a long, long time ago. And I gotta talk over this lady here. Of course, the annoying PA announcer, you know? But uh, yeah, that's gonna be my plan. So stick around if you're a transit fan. I hope you will enjoy this video. But if you don't like my talking, don't watch my videos, please. It's very simple. Just click the back browser or the back button on your browser if you don't want to see this. So let's enjoy the ride. I've been recording for six minutes now and I gotta wait another five minutes for the northbound train. But I just wanted to give you guys, you know, a little preview and I'm gonna put timestamps to when I board vehicles and transfer at stations. So we're gonna go through seven stations. That's a lot. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop here for a second until the Northbound train arrives. gangway trains which allow you to walk from one end to another they've been in service for 10 years now i was only a little kid when i first rode them but these trains have very good air conditioning by the way this station opened in 1978 and for much of the ride at least here we'll be in the median of allen road Pretty unique experience if you ask me. Okay, so we are here. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five stops to Shepherd West Station. And then we're gonna take the bus to Shepherd Young and then Lion 4 and then 985 to Scarborough Station. So that'll be the first half of the journey here. Next station is Glen Cairn, Glen Cairn Station. The door here has some stains. And as you guys probably may know, if you live in Toronto, this part of Allen Road is jam-packed jam with traffic probably every single day, especially at this time, because it should be rush hour right now. which is the north end of Toronto. So that so the first ride of, well, the first half of the ride will take place in mainly North York and then part of Scarborough as well. Arriving at Glen Cairn, Glen Station. Doors will open on the left.
next station is Lawrence West. Lawrence West Station. position throughout this ride because it'll be kind of busy and I hope I can get a seat on the damn bus next station is Yorkdale Yorkdale station Here's a very major shopping mall serving North York. I mean to come here for a while. And that's Highway 401, the busiest highway in North America. Look how jam-packed the mall is though. On a weekday too. But I love this view though, because you can actually see the Toronto skyline right there. But uh can't really see it. Every time when I used to ride the subway to school, I would notice these condos going up. Actually, these started going up recently, but I'll show you what I mean. It's the one right here in gray. And Wilson Station used to be the former terminus of this line until it got extended to Shepherd West, which is formerly Downsview in 1996. Wilson, Wilson Station. Doors will open on the left. And then as we exit Wilson Station, we'll be passing through the rail yards. So that's a complex of 
buses and uh, subway trains. And because of the automatic driverless system, sometimes the trains pull into the station is quite slow. You can actually look outside, but it's not really easy because the driver is right there. It can actually see you. And plus, especially when you're underground, you're gonna see yourself in the mirror. And uh, I don't, I don't like doing that. And this train will continue up to Vaughan. See? That's the complex here. I have a family member who works on line one. I'm not going to say who. And I'm getting off at the next station. And right next to the yards is the Danzu Airport. It's not a passenger airport though. It's actually right next to Danzu Park and the Aviation Center. And that's where I got my vaccine. some planes park at the airport right there and they had a when I concert back in 2003 for SARS at this point. Maybe there's a train just a few seconds up ahead of us. Arriving at Shepherd Bless, Shepherd West Station. Doors will open on the left. This used to be the terminus station of this line until 2017 when line one was extended to Vaughan. And I was just here on Wednesday because I was going to Fairview Mall to meet a friend. So I'll be following the exact same route. And just like that, the next train is in one minute. All right, so now we're going to transfer to either the 84 or the 984 Shepherd West bus. I hope it was the 984. 
because right now the express buses would be running frequently at this time of day. And this station opened in 1996 as Downsy Station. And this is my this is only the second time I've taken the bus since March 2020. The reason why I haven't taken the buses at all is because of COVID and it's not really spacious. It's always crowded, but we will see what it's like to ride the bus at this time. Look, it's already busy over there. It's already busy. So I may or may not get a seat. Anyway. So the 84 is in four minutes. And they don't even have one of the next vehicle for the 984. He's approaching. That's just, I mean, I did see, when I was here, I did see 984 buses, but I filmed a bus ride heading to Shepherd Station, but still. So I'm gonna have to catch this bus here instead. I hope I can get a seat. Look how busy it is. Is this it? Because it doesn't have its destination signs on. Yep, it is. Seriously, wh why doesn't the driver display its uh, wh where the hell it's going? Seriously. Oh, wait, this is a 984. This is also a big problem. It doesn't even show when it's arriving. That's just, it's just inconvenient. I hope it's the express at least. This is gonna be freaking hard. Yeah. All right, what can you do? We're on a crowded bus. Oh yeah, this is the 984. I'm lucky. It just doesn't display the uh, route number and where it's going. Fix your damn systems. So this is a hybrid bus. That's in Quebec. Called the Nova Bus Halifax. I'm not really a fan of these buses anyway because they don't like their seating and uh, they have no suspension and they don't start. They don't, they don't start and stop smoothly. I just hit it right on this. There's all the diesel heading east. I'll just shut up for the entire ride since uh, I already said it, but this should probably be like eight minutes or so. when TTC 
bus drivers can be so confusing, especially when it comes to like displaying their information and where they're heading to. And that same thing happened to me on Wednesday because that bus said it was not in service when it had passengers on it and I asked the driver and uh, we were let on. So I got confused. So screw, screw you. Nevertheless, I'll just shut up as we ride on to Young Street. There's an old school diner over there too on Wilson Heights. side of Baffer Street. So we're halfway through this bus right here. There's Shepherd up ahead, those tall towers. Oh, 
I think I was too slow to exit the bus with this kid. Anyway, right, now it's not that busy anymore. That's the diesel bus here. I don't know why the hell it's saying non service. Just, just display your damn route. Don't confuse people. Alright, Shepherd Young Station is coming up next. when they had the, uh, the old announcements. The new generated system has been around for three years and it still sucks. In fact, before on the express routes, the lady would say, this is an express vehicle, next stop, Shepherd Young Station, but now it's in reverse. Well, I'm used to it. Continue along Shepherd because we have to transfer to the subway and then the 985 at Don Mill Station. So once again, I am back here, but when I get to the line for a platform, I have to be careful because I attempted to, on Wednesday, I attempted to film the eastbound ride. And uh, when the train was pulling in, this lady who was working in the collector booth, she saw what I was doing. So she turned me, she, she told me to turn off, turn off my phone. So I did, so uh, I just filmed the ride going back westbound. So yeah, I was just on this line on Wednesday. I filmed the westbound direction, but now we're gonna film the eastbound direction. I guess this it may look familiar to you guys because I've done two videos along Shepherd on Wednesday because I was going to Fairview Mall to meet a friend. So now to get to line four, it's kind of a Long way, but it's not bad. So, what you have to do is you have to walk down here and then you have to cut through the line one platform. There's actually a platform. Well, you can actually access the line for a platform from here, but that platform is not in use or it's used just very rarely. And the way they just designed the line for a private station is just very unique. See, the only reason you could go to go to this side is if you need to use the elevator. So this station opened in 1974 as Shepherd Station, and then it changed its name to Shepherd Young Station when Line Four opened in 2002. So now we're on the east side of Line One. It says to 
Shepherd Subway. Two stops from here to the north. And I'll see if my train is here or not. And I think it is. Yep, there it is. And this is where I got told off by that person in that collector booth to stop filming. But I don't see anyone in here. came on this direction it was not busy because I was going to run lunchtime but it's rush hour so expect to see a lot of crowds so if you want to see my video on the shepherd line just itself I'll put that in the description below or put that as a card but the way they set it up is just interesting. That could have been a that could have been a usable platform right here. But it's called the Spanish Solution.
Bozerian Station. Doors will open on the left. Line four to Don Mills. This is the Station. least used station in the system. But we're halfway through the line because this Shepherd line has only five stations. Next station is Leslie, Leslie Station. Leslie Station. Doors will open on the left. Line 4 to Don Mill. Please stand clear of the doors. this side and not the other side apparently because most of the times the train crosses over to the other side of the tracks and then it goes from there but oh well This line will not get extended for probably the next 20, 30 years. They should have extended this line to Scarborough like 20 years ago. 
And that was the original plan, even to extend it to Downsview Station. And these exhibits are to commemorate 100 years of the Toronto Transit Commission. So anyway, now we're going to catch the 985 Shepherd East Express to Scarborough Centre Station. And you can also use this exit to get out to Fairview Mall, which is up ahead, but nope, not doing that today. I did that on Wednesday when I was going to meet my friend. All right, I hope I can get a seat on the 985 and here it is. Yes, it is. And it's a Nova Bus Articulated or Nova Bus LFS Arctic. All right. So this bus will go to Scarborough Center Station. A. Like I said, that goes to SEC. The B branch goes to Meadowville Road. I thought I was on the wrong bus for a second, but I have to check the uh, branch, the branch letter. And the driver turned off its lights for about two minutes, and then it just restarted the engine. I just didn't feel like capturing it. shopping mall here in Toronto. So the best option, I actually forgot at York Hill Station, you can take the GO bus from there to Scarborough to Town Center. So if you're coming from Midtown Toronto or the West End, I suggest you go to Yorkville, take the GO bus, or take the subway via downtown on lines 1, 2, and 3. But my intention is just to go on a clockwise journey across Toronto. That's Highway 404, it becomes the Don Valley Parkway up of here at Highway 401.
vehicle. We just crossed Victoria Park Avenue back there and now we're in Scarborough. So Victoria Park Avenue borders Scarborough to the east and then to the west, North York, all around here and then the south end at Old Toronto and East York. And I think this is the aging foot area. The roads are shit here. Riding these buses is because they're so bumpy and stuff. And they're damaging the streets here and especially in this part of town.
the announcements too well, unlike the uh, legacy system. She said, she said next stop Kennedy Road. Some people can't really hear the announcement because of the, because of how bumpy the roads are. Just making so much noise and vibration, you know. Actually, this part of the Shepherd is smooth because I remember they did a lot of work here because. Up ahead is the Asian Corps GO station on the Silva line. So this used to be a railway crossing years and years ago because they thought they were going to build the Shepherd East LRT but of course it didn't make sense to make an LRT when you can just extend line 4 all the way out here. Anyway, this bus will turn onto Midland Avenue and then Progress Avenue. The buses could have better air conditioning though. I'm hot as hell. Cultural is very diverse. I think from the north part of this of this area, it has a small strip of Asian restaurants and shops. Well, it's very small though, and has other areas where it's Middle Eastern and stuff like that. So that's a, that's literally like the one coolest thing about Toronto, especially this area. It's very diverse. All right, we were we were almost there.
to VRT. terminal here too but there's not a lot of space back there
halfway through the journey. I got a lot more filming to do, so I'm gonna take a break, get, grab some food from all the trucks, and then we will hop on the RT. And I kinda wanna film myself getting some food, but I think my battery's at like 55 already. Anyway, if you're a transit fan, I'm sure you've been here before to film some buses because this is a station where people come to fan the buses. It's been ages since I've been here. I think since, maybe not ages, but I haven't been here since 2019. And I can hear the RT leaving the station. So we're gonna get to that right after this break. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. So to the right is the Civic Center, right here. But I will walk into here. Wow, I haven't been here in so long. All right, let's take a break and I'll be back in probably about an hour. All right, see you guys. Okay guys, it's 5.55 right now. And just five minutes ago, I ran into Johnny Strides. He's a very notable Toronto YouTuber that does videos like me, except he does them way better than me. So this is the Albert Campbell Square, AKA Scarborough Civic Center. I literally just ran to this guy. And I mentioned so many times in my videos, but Johnny, if you see this, it was good to meet you, man. It was really good to meet you. And he's, he's streaming. I just, <laughs> I literally freaking appeared in his stream. Wow. Anyway, so we're gonna head home now by using the RT and strictly the subway. I just, actually, I had a poutine to eat at the uh, food trucks at uh, Scarborough Town Center. I thought of actually doing a quick video inside the mall, but my battery is at 46%, and I don't know how much longer it's going to last, so off we go into Scarborough Center Station. Now, the RT has been around since 1985, and for the past 10 to 15 years, there's been some debate on whether to replace it with a light rail line, a subway, or even extend it. And, you know, the RT has been a controversial thing. So in two years, the RT will be closed and it will be served by buses until line two extends out here. The Scarborough RT is literally 36 years old. It was supposed to be out of service like seven years ago. But they just spent millions of dollars just to like renovate the trains and keep its infrastructure and stuff like that. And I haven't been on this since like 2019. So hopefully with the battery not draining down so fast, I got a long way to go. But uh, uh, yeah, there's the RT guys. I really like it. I really like its blue livery and stuff. The old one sucked. But it's just really iconic though. Alright. And I just missed my train. So let's just watch it go. And I gotta wait another 8 minutes for it. I just want to show you guys what the station looks like. Yeah, it's too busy. I'm not going to get on. So this is the westbound platform. So this line has six stations. And the system that it's using, it's very unique. It's the same rail system they use in Vancouver and uh, Detroit. Alright, 
I'm gonna have to wait here for who the hell knows because there's no there's really no next next uh vehicle on the thing not unlike what they have in all subway stations but anyway I'm gonna stop here for a second until the next train arrives
but this is turned out to be one hell of a video. And I have a feeling this is gonna go like almost two hours, so.
two in the eastern terminus of the Eglinton LRT line. Now, doors were open on either side because the way they designed the platform here at Kennedy Station is just also interesting. It's basically that platform over there, that's where you have to wait. And this, and, uh, this is where you have to get off, like right here. But to use the elevator, then you gotta get off, like right here. Wow, that was a fun ride. This is Kennedy Station. And there's one of the entrances being built to the Line 5. These trains are gonna go home very soon. And that right there is a turnaround loop. Well, it was supposed to be a turnaround loop because this line, it was supposed to be a streaker line, but uh, since 1985, and then up until like four years later, we just abandoned it. Because there are like problems with the, you know, turnaround and stuff. All right, now to line, now to the lower Danforth line. So this is what the bus terminal looks like at Kennedy Station. You can connect to the GO train here. But now. We're gonna hop on the westbound train and take you to St. George. So here's a system map right here. Look at <laughs> there's a pigeon. There's literally a pigeon just sitting here. Anyway, so we are here. We're gonna take line two to St. George. Up and up back to Eglinton West. So we took North York to get here, and I think I just missed my train. Yep, it's this one, so I gotta catch the train on the left. So this station opened in 1980. And <laughs> the station looks really dirty. look out the front normally you can but that's only restricted to drivers for physical distancing wow we came a long way and we're almost well not barely finished but we're about to complete that circuit train coming here. Oh wow, this is not in service. Maybe the train's going out of service. I don't know. being taken out of service. All right, here we go on the way to downtown. There's another train waiting. So after we leave, we'll take our place. I forgot to mention, I forgot to mention that we'll be passing almost every single borough in Toronto except for Etobicoke. Etobicoke is like way out west. But yeah, these trains have been in service for 25 years now. 
and they're going to be replaced by new trades in the next kind of 10 years. But rest assured, they're still here to stay. subway every single day you know but my mom used to live around here well not here here but like further down so once we exit victoria park station we'll be in east york and then we'll be parallel to danforth avenue Goodbye, Scarborough. Arriving at Victoria Park. Victoria Park Station.
station is Main Street, Main Street Station. That's yeah, Crescent Town up there. It's a cluster of buildings just like placed like right next to each other. section of line two is between Keel and Woodmine Station so that section opened in 1966 and then two years later it was just extended simultaneously to Islington and Etobicoke to Warden and Scarborough and then again in 1980 to Kennedy and Kipling. Now one thing too the line most of the line runs just a few meters north of Lower Street and Danforth Avenue. Now, why is that? Because as opposed to the Young Subway, the Line 1 literally runs right underneath Young Street. And, uh, you know, building the subway right underneath Danforth would just cost a lot of businesses. So they had to build the line literally underneath like frickin' houses and Strathmore Avenue. So I feel for the people living on houses like on Strathmore Avenue. Maybe, I think it's Shepherd Blue, and, and the house is like around it, you know. I mean, right now, as we're in the tunnel, you know, you live in those houses and you can clearly hear the shaking. There's been a lot of noise complaints about that. The, no joke, every day it happens, unless, you know, the subway's closed, so because, you know, it's in like Woodbine and St. George or somewhere else, but. But yeah, and you can literally hear the rumbling when you're like on the street or when you're inside the house too. I really like the tiles from the station. And by the way, almost every station on Line 2 just looks the same because of, you know, the trim and the uh, background the color changes every time but most stations like Dufferin and Cape exited the original 60s um, you know but the way they designed the stations is really pretty cool not fancy but it's really 60s I remember when the TDC had to close a Cape Station for like 10 days in 2013 and then Dufferin Station the next year. And then literally adding a second exit to some of the stations like Woodbine, Donlands, Chester. And this is where a lot of TTC employees change their, shift, their shifts. Border 
meters of East York and Old Toronto are literally in like different places. So technically we're in the old city of Toronto, but literally just a meter up ahead would be East York. And yes, we kind of were in East York for a short time as we were leaving Victoria Park Station. to stop here for probably a couple of minutes. See, the signal lights are red. Wow. That did not last long though. Sometimes you have to wait like one or two minutes. Are you, like I remember. This station is Broad, Broad station. And right after Broadview, the subway will I'm trying to think of something to say, but it'll cross over the Don Valley Parkway, the Don Valley River, and Bayview Avenue, and a couple of train tracks. And that's called the Bloor Viaduct. And then we'll be in downtown Toronto.
or trail. And you can actually see Young and Eglinton from here. That's the Richmond Hill Line and Major Avenue. And on the south side, you'll get a view of downtown. The view here is like half rev taken, but I always enjoyed like just looking out the window as a kid. And I'm riding either direction, you know? And now we're in downtown Toronto. And we're gonna go on another bridge, but this time it's enclosed. And that goes over Rosedale Valley Road. And the reason why they had it enclosed back in the mid 60s is when they were building the lines is because the rest of it just objected it easily. They could have just built it like in the open air, you know? Anyway, I do talk too much. I, like I said, I, I'm, a, I'm very knowledgeable, but again, if you don't like my talking, then don't watch this video. And I did say that before when I was at Eglinton West, you know? So this is the bridge right here. My phone was at 25%, so any time now I should be receiving a low battery warning. So I really, really hope that this can last for much longer. I don't really have a far, far away to go now that we're in downtown. But like I said, if you if you go if you if you forgot where we're ending, if you made it this far, then uh, I'm getting off at Eglinton West. Literally, literally completing a, a circuit clockwise around Toronto. And by the way, when Line 5 opens, you can still take the clockwise journey. So you can get off at the next station, which is Bloor Young, take Line 1 to Eglinton, and then you can take the Line 5. Station is Young, Young Station. And Bloor Young, as you probably may know if you're from the city, it's the busiest subway station in Toronto. And I've seen pictures of it being like super overcrowded for many years. And that's why they should have built the downtown relief line. But it's confirmed, we're gonna have the Ontario line. Which will be another option for those heading to downtown from East York and Scarborough or North York. At least if you're like east of Young Street. says do not block the doorway. Technically I was, and it just moves off to the side. All right, two more stops to go. And of course, trains would begin their inchline process from here. And then to uh, line one, I explained that in a different subway video. That was back in 1966 when the TDC experimenting with interlining. And uh, yeah, there's an abandoned base station right below us. guys that's literally the oldest t1 car since 1995 
Transfer to line one and head north to Eglinton West Station. So my battery is now at 20%. So I really hope I can go this far. I don't have a long way to go at all from here, but still in perfect timing. Here comes my train. All right, back on line one. So we are almost done the circuit. So if you've stuck with me this far, Thank you for watching. Well, I'm not even done the video yet, but. Ah, back into the air conditioned TR. Please stand clear of the doors. seven stations today. In fact, every single interchange station in the system. And I have a lot of editing to do when I get home. So you may not see this video probably until, well, by the time you're seeing it, it should be like Wednesday or Thursday, or maybe even Friday, who knows? stops to get to Eglinton West. Arriving at Sedan. Sedan. Oh, I'm going to rest on the door. We're going to rest on the door. We're going to rest on the door. We're going to rest on the door. Thank you. There's a delay at Thunder Station. Some of these delays don't even last too long. Probably just like five minutes. But when things are just big, then, uh... Hey, that train's out of service. It's de-heading or... Or bypassing the station. I wonder where it's heading to. Next station is... Demont. Demont Station.
elevators were installed almost a year ago here at DuPont Station. I've pretty much been to almost every single station on Line 1, but not all of them. Actually, the only stations that I haven't been to on this line are Summer Hill, Rosedale, Downsview Park, York University, Pioneer Village. Next station is... That's all. St. Clair West. St. Clair West Station. So, I'm kind of almost home, guys. different neighborhoods. We passed through five boroughs. Next station. Actually, the one borough that we haven't passed yet is York, but we're going to be in York in just a moment. And of course, the subway runs underneath Cedarville Park.
one final recap. We started our clockwise journey at Eglinton West Station. We took a northbound train to Shepherd West, and we took the 984 Express to Shepherd Young Station, and we took all of Line 4 to Don Mills, and then the 985 Express to Scarborough Center Station. That's where I met Shawnee Strides before I started my second half of the journey. And then, very simple, follow my finger, got up at St. George, and now we are almost done. goes to Vaughn Metropolitan Center. What a journey it has been today. I left my house at 3 o'clock. We were here earlier. And then we just went through North York, Scarborough, then East York, and then through downtown. And now we're here in New York. Here comes a, another train, actually. A southbound train, and one minute later, a northbound train. And it's 6.55. So wow, that took 55 minutes just to get from Scarborough Town Center to here. Guys, if you made it this far, you did it. Congratulations. Thank you guys so much for watching this epic journey across Toronto on the TTC on all four subway lines, starting here and ending here. There's a system map. Once again, you can pause and just take a look. Man, we've been everywhere today. Well, except for Etobicoke, but that's, that's all right. I'll definitely do something like this again, probably just not on camera. And now I have a low battery, so I got a lot of editing to do when I get home, but thank you guys. Welcome back to my, welcome back to my area. It was a lot of fun today and I met Johnny Strides off camera that was crazy you know so uh thanks for watching guys leave a like if you enjoyed a comment and subscribe for more videos i had a lot of fun making this one and here come the 32 buses
right, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, and goodbye, everyone.